I think I'm good enough only if I lift the trophy. I think I'm good enough only if I land that high paying job. That's the only thing that will make me feel good about myself. I will feel like I have achieved something and that makes me someone amazing only if I top the class. We often deal with our self worth in this fashion. Without having achieved a certain accolade, we don't feel significant, we don't feel good about ourselves, we don't enjoy who we are. This is a problem and today I'm going to help you break out of this association of self-worth so that you can actually go about amplifying your performance and how much you can achieve by thinking differently and changing your life. We often attach our value to who we are as people based on our performance only and without which we do not feel valued. We do not consider ourselves good enough. Hey self-helper, today I'm going to break down an important thinking error, a cognitive distortion known as self-worth and how we associate our value to it. Remember that self-worth is a very important aspect of who you are. We all want to feel significant, but it doesn't necessarily have to be connected with how much or how great we achieve certain things. Think about it. The way you're thinking, it's not unjustified. It's totally okay. It's normal to want to be significant because look at the state of things in this day and age. It's not easy to be considered popular or to be someone of value. We all want to be that influencer, we want to be that celebrity, we want to be acknowledged for doing something great with our lives. And being this person, having this persona that is what we see day in and day out on social media, on television, we all want to be that person. And yet we forget who we are on the inside, who we actually are as people. And yet, these achievements or these acts of significance, they are the only thing that make you feel valued. Again, it's not that it's wrong to think this way. What's wrong is that there is a chink in your armor. You are incomplete with your thought process. In reality, what the situation is, is that you are actually putting yourself into a corner where without A, there is no B. Without being a certain way, I am not of value. If I do not win the tournament, I am no good as a person. There is no point in doing what I have been doing. Without earning a certain amount of money, I am no good. My life is kind of meaningless. I'm not able to provide for my family because I do not earn a certain amount. And most of the time, this is usually a very arbitrary form of thinking. We aren't really able to give a finite answer. We can't put a number on it. Yet, our heads are in the clouds with regard to this. We constantly put ourselves into this frame of mind that without this being a certain way, things cannot exist for me. My identity is strongly linked with how I perform. And if I fail to perform a certain way, I am not meeting the needs of my identity. Again, I'm trying to tell you that. Look at the link between these two parts. This is your level of performance at this point of time. Now, let's say it's bad. And your identity is someone that, hey, I'm a high performer. I don't deserve this. I don't really want to be in this place. What can you do to either change your performance to make it good or look at it like this? This is who you are, your identity, being a high performer. Now, it's not meeting the needs of your identity of being a high performer. That's why there's a conflict. That's why you do not feel worthy enough. And that's the case with most of us, where we attach our value only to our performance. And in India, especially, this is the case. Look at most students. 
they aren't happy because they aren't ranking in their class they aren't happy if they aren't performing in extracurricular activities in sports in competitions in musical performances oh my friends are doing so much they're doing so well why can't i achieve the same thing why can't i be like them and the rat race pushes us into this frame of mind where i need to be like everyone else and we forego our own good qualities our own self worth so coming back to this you have two options for yourself either improve your performance and try to make it in line make it congruent with your identity or change your identity with your capabilities or your current level of performance and then work your way up from there that's important to consider because it's not easy to become a high performer it takes time it takes practice it takes consistency it takes focus but developing that strong frame of mind where hey i want to be this now how can i go about doing this i have all these amazing qualities i'm an amazing person already now how can i go about changing that and taking it one step further to become this high performer and then how can i use the mindset of a high performer to boost my performance what are the skills that i need to learn and inculcate into my daily routine so that i can actually boost my performance that kind of thinking makes a big difference towards actually performing better and also valuing yourself a lot more think about it your parents want you to be happy and they would have probably raised you to be a happy person but your competition tends to dominate you sometimes and you fail to realize that hey i have my own qualities i am me i have a certain identity of my own my own unique identity now how can i use that identity to actually become a high performer or perform really well and amplify my self worth using that it's a small change but it's a very different way of thinking by actually looking at it like this by telling ourselves hey how can i actually amplify my performance i go back to what i have of value what do i attach to my identity my value is that i am good at what i am talented at i have these amazing qualities already in place now let's say you don't have any good qualities start thinking about where your strong points are you don't have strong points go one step further beneath and try and understand what drives you what motivates you what makes you wake up in the morning and actually do something with your time important to consider and that's how you slowly scale it up to actually reach a level of performance now you've reached that level of performance and yet you don't feel significant that's again important to consider because no matter how much certain some people may achieve in their life they never experience success and it's primarily because i see myself of value only if i achieve and success is a psychological sense of accomplishment so you see sportsmen who have gone through their entire career fail to reach that pinnacle of their sport and yet they aren't able to retire in peace primarily because they feel that you know what my performance was unfinished i could have done a little better and once they've retired now they cannot look back on that we all have regrets look at students students who were deprived of the, that opportunity to actually go about uh, you know pursuing their higher studies getting their dream job you failed a number of businesses and now you're stuck you're not able to come out of that frame of mind so important to consider because when we look at the bigger picture it is this if you want to amplify your performance you want to actually do what the high performers do learn from them study like them and then live like them change the mindset and then change the behavior that's all you need to do it's that simple and once you start doing that you start following these two principles one being growing each and every single day 
एंड नंबर टू गिविंग मेकिंग इट मोर देन जस्ट बींग अबाउट योर सेल्फ योर सेल्फ वर्थ इमीडिएटली इंक्रीजेस एंड सी वॉट इट डज टू योर परफॉर्मेंस यू स्टार्ट एलिवेटिंग each and every single day because you are making it more than just about you you are looking at how can i grow from any bad experience that i have how can i learn from good experiences and take that one step further towards actually performing even better this frame of mind immediately changes everything that you do think about it think long and hard about how you can actually go about implementing this in your life who are the experts in your field do they attach their self worth to their performance or do they amplify their own qualities and strengths to actually reach where they are today think about that start growing start giving and start changing your mindset with regard to how you are going to become a different person your value is defined by you not by how much you perform or how well you may perform in future it just amplifies who you already are think about it someone who is wealthy if they are a good person their good nature of growing and giving with that money it increases someone who is bad on the inside selfish that selfishness is going to increase they don't give as much so that is the most important thing your value on the inside that is your self worth ponder on that and tell me what you thought about this video down in the comment section below if you found this video useful make sure you leave it a thumbs up because i want this message to reach a lot of people i want you and all of your friends to actually perform better in your life because it's more than being just about me or you it's about creating a community it's about having more than one person actually experiencing what this is this is amazing this is an liberating experience that you are undergoing each and every day on this channel by becoming the best version of yourself so that's why i keep telling everyone including you subscribe right now hit bell notifications because you don't want to miss another video because i'm going to train you each and every day to perform better become motivated and feel empowered at each and everything that you do check out all of the videos that i have down below because they are designed to improve your life in one way or another if you change your mind you can change your life trust me on that i will make you the best version of yourself this is vikram signing off and i'll see you in the next session